The greater Los Angeles and Orange County area boasts a population of more than 18 million people. Tucked away just south of LAX airport is a wonderful little town called El Segundo. The locals call it Gundo, and with its small town vibe, it could easily be mistaken for Mayberry, USA. One block off of Main Street on the south side of town, you'll find Old Town Music Hall, the home of the mighty Wurlitzer, and host of movie nights, the way they used to be. The theater itself started in 1968. It was the vision of our two founders, Bill Kaufman and Bill Field. They were young and enthusiastic. They had a mighty Wurlitzer that they had purchased 10 years before from the Long Beach Fox before it was demolished. And they rescued it, they rebuilt it, and they found this building. It was originally a silent film theater built in 1921. They moved the entire pipe organ, they put up all 2,000 some odd pipes, and they opened for business in 1968. Wurlitzer was probably the most famous theater organ company. These are unusual. They're actually called a horseshoe console because they're shaped like a horseshoe. And the reason for that is because the organ was down in the orchestra pit and the screen was way up here. So the organist was always playing kind of like this. There's four keyboards and there's 61 notes each. There's 26 ranks of pipes. Each one of these turns on a different sound that you hear up there. So I can put a separate sound on each keyboard by pushing these little buttons here and it operates all this. And I've already pre-set this up ahead of time, so I have, then I've. Our founders got the idea, let's put all the percussion out in front because that's moving and that's interesting and let's paint it with black light paint so that it can be even more apparent. It's fun to see people see this for the first time. You'll hear people go, oh, it does take your breath away. The shows here are so much fun. I'll stand out in front of the theater, and if I see people walking by, I'll hand them a calendar, ask if they've ever been here before. The building was made in 1921. It started out as a silent movie theater. We bring a lot of silent film here. We like to show it at least once a month, if not more. We're doing Sherlock Jr. It's a Buster Keaton film. It has some incredible stunt gags. We did The General. It takes place during the Civil War. We did Safety Last. It was Harold Lloyd hanging on a clock in downtown Los Angeles. There's no one film that stands out. They're all just amazing films that need to be seen. As a filmmaker myself, I've always appreciated what people did in the silent period. You know, they were inventing the look, the feel, the, the visual vocabulary of cinema was being created, and they were doing incredible things. What's unique about this theater, as opposed to others that may show classic film, is the mighty Wurlitzer and the silent films. When you come in here and you see the decor, you really are time traveling. Anywhere where I can see great silent film, is it's just a treasure. It's one of the great reasons to live in LA. I just looked online today and found they were playing one of my favorite movies. When I looked into it, I discovered they had this amazing Wurlitzer organ and and here we are. I mean, we were like, we have to come. It uh, sounds like a great Saturday afternoon thing to do. I haven't been here, but I am excited to see the organ because I do play piano and I think it's going to be a really grand experience. It reminds me that, that L.A. is about movies where New York is about theater. And I love that. And by the way, the popcorn is the best I've tasted in a long time. <laughs> kind of gives people an idea of what it was like. Thank you, welcome to Old Town Music Hall. How many people have never been here in this theater before? This is your first time? Woo! Great, wonderful. It's going back in time, it's part of history. So today I'm gonna to play a little medley for you. This is what the theaters were like back then. After that, we're gonna have a sing-along. After the sing-along, then we're gonna have a cartoon, then intermission, and then our feature film. Back then, a lot of people didn't have any sort of entertainment device in their house, and they would make a day of going to the movie theater like this. Just 
So this is Sherlock Jr. in 1924. I watched the film several times, especially to look for certain obvious cues like doorbells or a car horn. I try to pick out themes of the various people. There's the villain, there's the beautiful girl, there's the hero. Most of these films have the same kind of things, and I'll try to find a musical theme that will fit those people. And then there's an overall musical theme, and after that, it's all improvised. So I'm just watching the screen, and they're chasing each other, and so I play a chase theme, and if the love scene comes on, I'll play a few seconds. You really have to keep your eyes on the screen. You're constantly changing as the film is going on. That's such a neat thing for people to have the experience of going to the movie palaces of the 1920s because it's so different than any other theaters nowadays, any of the modern theaters. It's really our honor to get people excited about classic film, about the mighty Wurlitzer Theater pipe organ. It's a gym in El Segundo. It's something the community should be really proud of. Bill Field, one of the founders, used to warn people that would come here on a date. He'd say, if it's your first date, you're gonna get married. It's happened so many times. There is something magical about this place. When people do things where they have such a, a love for something that they just can't wait to share it with somebody else, I think that makes the community a better place. My name is Randy. Angie. My name is Ralph. Rex. My name is Pess. Ernie. John. My name is James. My name is Sterling. And I am... I am... America. America.